So two videos ago, my sister and I, and with a little help of my father, we decided to build a little temporary enclosure because we didn't want to mow the grass. Well, with the grass, uh, they did a good job of eating the grass, eating the grass down. I'll show you guys kind of how we used our sheep as lawnmowers. But then they got out, and this is what happened to our kale. They ate it all the way to the ground. So up this row, you see where it was nice and green, and then they got out and they went absolutely ham. Um, sometimes that happens, um, and it's just part of it. If you ever keep animals, you know that sometimes they're gonna get out. Um, somehow our fence fell and they had a free for all. Luckily we were able to uh, grab all of them, get them put away, none of them got hurt. Um, they ended up with a full stomach, but um, you know, that's just part of it. Uh, but I'm gonna, sh uh, I'm gonna show you in just a second how well they clean up the area that we had. I'm not sure if, if you haven't watched the video of us, you know, a day in the life. And it was a day in the life video of us um, putting up a fence, me and my sister. But, you know, here is kind of like the aftermath. Like this grass was much higher. We put them in for just a week and they clean this area. And I mean, that's the, that's, to me, that's probably using the animals, um, using what you have and being resourceful and being able to get them on some green grass because I know they enjoyed it, um, but they, literally ate down this grass and just to kind of show you you know in a week's time you know this is the area and this is like what it looked like so we had the fence line running here and they pretty much mowed this ground grass down um i put this up sorry i did it off camera so you guys can see it but i'm getting ready to complete this uh enclosure um, just to get them another space to eat. Hopefully they don't get out this time and eat all the kale. Um, that was definitely a devastating thing. Um, you know, that was the kale that we used. It was dino kale that they ate. That's the kale that we used for kale chips. So all um, my kale chip lovers out there, sorry. Uh, my sheep got into it, got into our patch. So I don't have, we don't have as much to share right now. Um, but comment down below if you like kale chips. You know, I know we asked it in a previous uh, previous video. Comment down below if you're a kale chip eater. What are your favorite flavors? What do you put on them um, when you make them? I know mine, is, I'm a regular just salt and pepper kind of person. Uh, I have tried, is it vinegar, salt and vinegar? Um, the salt and vinegar is pretty good. Um, but comment down below, let me know how you prepare your kale chips or if you are a kale chip eater. That's gonna conclude this episode. And we will definitely, definitely uh, love to see your comments. Um, again, if you haven't already, like, subscribe, um, comment, uh, stay tuned. We have some other things coming on, other things brewing. Um, my sister will be on, so definitely stay tuned and stay locked in for that. Well, that's going to conclude this video. It's just a short, little one um obviously we got drama going on here on the fun, fun family farm but if you haven't already please like subscribe comment i know some of you guys are on break so it's a great opportunity for you to go back and catch up on all of the other footage that we've posted for you um again thank you continue to follow us until next time peace out